Uh, hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to be talking about proxy servers. Uh, proxy servers are used primarily for tunneling through firewalls or getting around firewalls and also for anonymous uh, surfing. And we'll discuss uh, this and a couple of other things. I uh, want to point out down below here the uh, computerrepairtrainingplus.com site. Uh, you can find maybe some additional resources there. Proxy server. Firewall tunneling. Firewall tunneling is getting through a firewall that has been designed uh, maybe to limit uh, your access to some, uh, what a company or a school or an organization or even a country might consider uh, restricted sites. But uh, using proxy servers, we can bypass or tunnel right through the firewall. Also, there might be some router restrictions that have been put in place uh, using uh, control access lists. Uh, these can also be bypassed uh, using a proxy server. Uh, this is a little diagram. Uh, in the center here we've got our internet cloud. Uh, up in the top here is our proxy server. Connected to the proxy server uh, we might have some uh, restricted web uh, websites or resources uh, which can be reached uh, from the proxy. Down here we've got a couple of users on either side uh, they have a firewall in place uh, to the internet. Again, the firewall could be a router or it could also be a proxy server. But firewalls are to prevent uh, access uh, either from the user to certain sites. We could use control access lists or in the case of a proxy, uh, we could actually put in the names of each of these sites or we could filter uh, using a list of terms. So firewalls can be set up either with a router or also a proxy server. Uh, but routers can be tunneled through to reach these restricted services if we go through a proxy. There are some uh, concerns or maybe some dangers in using a proxy, so we'll discuss that also. Uh, proxy servers, no anonymous surfing. You might want to try anonymous surfing, but there really is no anonymous surfing since everything is always tracked and logged. Uh, if there was some reason for a federal organization to try to determine who was using a proxy to reach uh, maybe some restricted resources, it could be tracked back to uh, your IP address. Everyone accessing the internet has to use uh, some uh, IP address that is normally supplied from some uh, service that you subscribe to, either through your telephone company or other resource. Those services are logged to you at times and dates. So no matter what you do on the internet, it can always be tracked to you or tracked back to you. Also the dangers of using a proxy uh, service. All the data can be monitored, captured, and then analyzed. Passwords, account numbers, and other things uh, could be captured and could be retrieved. These can be used to uh, access your accounts or steal your identity. Uh, so there's always a danger in using a proxy server. Now, kids, maybe at high schools or other places where uh, teachers or the school is trying to restrict them from getting to certain sites, will use a proxy uh, to try to circumvent uh, the, rout the routers or the firewalls that have been put in place. Uh, I run a, a lab, and in my lab I have a router, and I'm always capturing uh, new proxies that the students are trying to use to reach certain resources and I just add those to my list. But it takes uh, some effort and some time to uh, continue to update your list because new proxies are coming out all the time. Uh, another uh, place in some of these countries, uh, maybe the communist countries like China, uh, use uh, routers and proxies to try to limit uh, their people from accessing some of the democratic sites and some of the uh, sites that they would uh, find uh, to be a problem for their country. Again, the Chinese are using proxies and there are some very large proxies out there that have a large amount of bandwidth that they're using. Some of those proxies have been set up just to allow uh, citizens of some countries to be able to reach the outside world. Uh, preserving bandwidth by caching web pages. That's a real popular form of a proxy or popular use for a form for a proxy in a, in a fairly large organization. Uh, you could think if there's a, a news article uh, that was being released and you had several thousand users on your network, uh, everybody would be going to those web pages. Well, 
by caching those web pages on a proxy server instead of everybody having to access those pages through uh, your internet connection the server can now be uh, caching those pages and just supplying them to anybody that wants to view them this can save a considerable amount of time in trying to access those pages through the internet connection which is generally a lot slower than your local network and also it preserves that bat that valuable bandwidth um, of reaching the internet anyway uh, proxy servers uh, they are in use considerable uh, within organizations and also uh, in the internet for people to uh, use to access uh, resources uh, that's it for now thank you very much for your time